Hi, it's Laura at Aquamarine18. Thanks for stopping by my channel today. I am here, you'll know from the title of this video, to do a VR to a tarot tag. And this one is hashtag tarot characters. It was started by Avery Fawcett, and I'll link Avery's video starting this tag below. And this one is a really fun tag. I love things like this. So I'm very happy to participate in this one. So the idea of tarot characters as a tag is that Avery has provided eight character um, types, I guess, or, or traits. And we can, in whatever way we choose, whatever deck we choose, pick cards that go with that character or reflect that characteristic for us. Um, I have picked two cards for each character because you know, I can't help myself, and if I'm supposed to pick one thing, I'm going to pick two. So, two cards for each, which makes 16 cards for this, um, this tag. And I chose to answer tarot characters with my Steampunk Tarot, which is by Barbara Moore and illustrated by Ali Fell. This is the Czech language edition uh, published by Synergy, which I love. And the reason I chose to work with the Steampunk Tarot for this tag is because I feel like the steampunk tarot is very much a kind of um, self-contained world that is populated by characters. It is its own kind of universe, um, you know, a steampunk universe, and the cards depict different, you know, people in that society going about their, their life. So thinking about characters in this kind of um, literary sense, I thought that the steampunk tarot would be a choice that made sense. So, two cards for each, without further ado, because so far it has taken me two minutes just to get to the first question. So, the characters, which I'll again, I'll list those below as well. The first one is the card that you don't want to meet in a dark alley. For this um, question, and I should say actually, a little more preamble, my answers are very much um, shaped by the fact that I picked the steampunk tarot. I'm going on how I read the visuals in this specific deck. Had I picked a different deck, my card choices would have been very different. So, cards you don't want to meet in a dark alley. My first choice for that is the Five of Swords, which um, in the guidebook of this deck, they describe the Five of Swords as showing this... Um, man in the red coat there going around and taking everyone else's swords and putting them into his sword collecting, sword amalgamating device here that he has. And of course the other figures in the card are, are none too pleased um, with having their swords taken. So were I in a dark alley armed with a sword, a man coming up trying to take it from me, don't want to meet him in a dark alley, no thank you. The second one that I picked that I definitely don't want to meet in a dark alley is the devil. Pretty self-explanatory, huge mechanical um, robotic figure who seems to be kind of running amok, bearing teeth. Um, if we met in a dark alley, it would be quite concerning to me. No. Number two is the card that you want to take to Disney World. And I will answer this prompt with the very big caveat that I do not want to go to Disney World ever. Disney World is almost kind of the epitome of a place that I would not want to go ever. So if I had to go to Disney World and try to have a good time, the two cards that I would pick to go with me from the steampunk tarot. First, I picked the fool. And the fool is, of course, throwing themselves into new experiences, interested in trying new things, open-minded, um, you know, not coming into the experience with the same um, pre-judgments of how bad it's going to be that I would be if I went to Disney World. So I like that. And this, um, this fool is a chimney sweep and is up on a roof so in terms of going to a um, like an amusement park type attraction um, they're not going to be afraid of heights which is also good because 
you know, going on rides and stuff. It's good to not be afraid of heights. The other card that I would take to Disney World if I was forced to go, I chose the sun. Just because these folks look like they're having a great time. I think that they would have a great time pretty much anywhere because they are just loving life and hopefully they would bring some of that amazing sunny weather with them if we went to Disney World. The third character is the card that you want with you when someone close to you dies. So who I would want with me when someone close to me dies, the first card I picked was the Six of Cups. There's always a element of nostalgia in the Six of Cups for me and about, um, you know, memories and, and sharing those. Thinking about numerology and that Six of Cups is, is harmonious, um, you know, and, and is a balancing of emotions, I think. And this card, it looks like, you know, they have a lot of um, emotional support to offer, I would say, you know, and they're offering flowers and I think that that's um, you know, a kind and supportive thing. For a card I would want close to me when someone close to me dies, I also chose strength. And in this depiction of strength, the woman is comforting an injured lion. And I think that that tells me that she is good at, you know, seeing and acknowledging and nurturing through a painful time. And she's not going to get kind of phased by, um, phased by my expressions of pain if someone passed away close to me. So that's who I would pick for that one. The next one is the card you want to drink or get high with. I'm bracketing this to just card you want to drink with because that would be my preference. Um, and I will say about this prompt, um, the steampunk tarot, I never noticed this before, but the steampunk tarot has so much booze in it. Like so many of the characters are drinking. Uh, so, so thinking about this in terms of visuals in this deck, I actually had a lot of like very obvious literal options here. So card I want to drink with. The first one is going to be very obvious why. The Nine of Cups, which in this deck is a happy bartender who has, says the top, the best ales, wines, and spirits and is offering nine full glasses of red wine there. Has lots of other kinds of drinks. It looks like there's probably some cushy seating in this drinking establishment. Um, she looks very welcoming and happy to see me. So if I was gonna pick someone to drink with in this deck, she would be one of my choices. The other one that I chose as a card that I would like to drink with is the three of cups and this three of cups has always read to me um, you know as a kind of um, queer polyamorous sexy night in um, so I would totally hang out with these folks um, they have a crystal ball on the table which is kind of fun um, they've got some drinks there they look like they're having um, good enjoyable conversation so I would totally um, have a drink with, with these folks in the Three of Cups. A drink or a three or four, you know. Sounds good to me. So, the fifth question is the card that you would give a friendship bracelet and the map to your treehouse. So this is serious. This is a serious commitment question, right? Friendship bracelet and the map to your treehouse. I would give two the four of wands one of them is holding a tarot card so you know we're um you know we've got something in common um they are making you know preparations for a celebration with some food and some decor which sounds like an ideal thing to do in a treehouse to me so i would definitely invite these folks to my treehouse for sure i also picked the seven of wands because she looks very reliable to me she is going to throw down and defend the treehouse from anybody who is trying to sneak in who we didn't invite to hang out with us 
and she just looks like someone that I would get along with. So, I would totally hang out in a treehouse with her. Right? Gotta have someone you like if you're gonna give them a friendship bracelet. Card number six, the card that you would let borrow your car. And it was actually in this prompt that made me realize how many people in this deck are drinking. Because obviously I'm not going to lend my car, you know, go up to someone who's like holding a half empty drink <laughs> and hand over my keys. That would be grossly unreliable, uh, like, you know, unsafe and, <laughs> and irresponsible. So of course not. Um, so I was thinking of who looks like if they borrowed my car, I feel would take good care of it and, um, you know, be respectful of it. And that the car would come back and the person would come back, you know, intact uh, as they were. So I first chose the King of Swords. He has a ship there, so maybe he travels a lot and is familiar with various modes of transportation. I think that he could handle uh, a car for sure. He looks organized. Um, you know, he looks studied. He, I think, would be quite a responsible driver. And also to borrow my car, I chose the chariot because I think that if she can handle you know very skillfully steering two kind of mechanized steampunk creatures that are carrying this chariot that my little Honda would be no problem at all she's driving all the time she's going to be a good driver so that's why I pick to borrow my car. Card number seven, the card you would ask for advice on a tough relationship. And if the drinking question wasn't there, I might have actually picked the bartender in the Nine of Cups because, you know, bartenders are so much in the kind of caring and advice giving and professional listening type of line of work um, that I'm sure that she would have, you know, heard, heard a lot of relationship problems and would have, you know, good things to say. But instead, I decided to pick this man in the Seven of Pentacles. And you can see he's looking at those pentacles and he has his notebook there and a pen. And he's really just taking stock of what's there and assessing you know, and, and thinking about what needs to happen next. And I think that in terms of, you know, talking about a tough relationship and thinking about advice, I think he would be the kind of person who would maybe think about making a pro and con list, um, you know, about that relationship and whether that relationship was a good one for me to be in. He would be very um, able to, you know, step away and not kind of put his own preconceived thinking about like his relationships into what into the advice he was giving me. I think he would be, be able to give a good, you know, honest, um, thorough, well thought out assessment of whatever the situation was. So I would totally ask him for advice on a tough relationship. I also picked the Ten of Wands. She is surrounded by tarot cards. So maybe if I was asking for advice on a tough relationship, um, she would do a tarot reading with me, um, but she also is, you know, she's carrying a lot. She's lighting her own way. She's moving forward, you know, in the way that makes the most sense to her, you know, even though it might be difficult or scary or foggy, um, she is going on ahead. And that I think is a good spirit, um, you know, when you're having a tough time in a relationship, it's like, what is the direction, um, you know, that you need to be going and why, and really thinking about that and thinking about, you know, assessing your own needs. And I think that she uh, would be very good at that kind of advice as well. Finally, the last prompt, number eight, card you would take on a shopping spree. So, I've tried to not watch too many of these videos because I wanted to make sure that my answers were not skewed by other people's answers. Um, but I did watch Avery's, obviously, the original video, and I also watched Bee at iCali Sunflower, 
And I think that they both picked this card. And this was the first card I thought of as well for a card you would take on a shopping spree. And that one is, of course, the Nine of Pentacles. She is well-dressed, which, I mean, if it's shopping spree is for clothes, somebody who would wear a, a vertical striped corset. Not that I would necessarily wear a vertical striped corset, but, like, she's got, you know, she's got taste. Um, you know, she's going to want to look at things that are really good quality and, you know, she's, she's, she's a good one. She would be good to take on a shopping spree for sure. And finally, the last one that I picked a card to take on a shopping spree and I picked, and again, totally deck specific on this one. Um, uh, I picked the Knight of Wands. I love her. I would hang out with her in a second. And I think that her fashion sense here with the long coat with the blue silk or purple silky lining vest and tie with her wand kind of sheathed like a riding crop or something. She's fantastic. <laughs> um, you know, so if I wanted to have someone on a shopping spree who is like, someone whose fashion sense I really liked, um, you know, I would pick her because I think she's fabulous. So those are my tarot characters. I am looking forward to continuing to watch others VRs to this. Um, I've had so much fun picking them out. Um, I was sitting and watching some other um, YouTube videos while I was flipping through my deck and making piles and ch choosing potential um, cards to to include for each one so this was a really fun tag and I hope lots of folks do it uh, thank you to Avery for starting tarot characters and again look forward to seeing others and if you would like to leave in the comments below any kind of particular thoughts you have about the cards that I picked or any thoughts on cards that you would pick for any of these prompts um, do share love the conversation as always so thank you so much for watching and I wish everybody a great day bye